We was just going to the gas station. Why are you in a rush? But that's what made it fun. Going Bro, in crazy the water? in a car, hitting pedestrians with no consequences. Sounds like a drunk driver's dream. And little me was inspired that was by my shit, bro. This was essentially my GTA before I knew what it was. What the Great game. Bro, facts. This was GTA before GTA. All right. We got us a degenerosity video. Uh, this is childhood video, video games. I know I've been pushing this off. I've been, you know what I'm saying? But we here now. Hey, don't mind me. I'm eating a little bit. If I get too loud and the noise gate is too open, let me know. I'll mute in between talking. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to tell me. Simba, shut your f ass up. I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't tell me if I'm not eating because then, then, it's, then it's wraps. But if I'm eating in your face actively because I do got these bomb chicken wings and some beef fried rice and shit. Um... But yeah, let's let's uh, let, uh I'm sorry, I backtracked. Um let's let's get into this video, man. I love distractions. They help me forget the pain of reality. Oh, so shit. games to me is like a blessing from the heavens itself. They take us to a new world with new opportunities. You know what? Sorry, we're only eight seconds in and I'm pausing. But really sit here and think about it, bro. The parents hated us being on video games. You never gonna do shit with them video games. Da -da 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 -da. Now niggas is millionaires off video games, bruh. Millionaires off video games, bruh. You can't make this shit up, bruh. Niggas thought the only way you can make money off of being, uh, you know what I'm saying? Millionaires on video is is when you was, like, making the games or beta testing. Nah, just playing them, bitches. Look, look at that, man. I look at my mama and get pissed to this day. <laughs> where you could be whoever with some of them being where you can straight up do whatever you want yo it's peak fantasy it's also a cool pastime and as a kid That's i was it. a bona fide gamer i say as a kid because nowadays other than the usual squad games you play with the homies i don't really be gaming too much the only game i really be putting my hours in is overwatch and i'm not proud of that i'm embarrassed anyways that's why overwatch. i wanted to talk about games oh. that i actually like Games okay, from my childhood. I'ma just be talking about the games I used. Okay, well, I, I, we are in different eras, but I feel like all the games that he's gonna mention, I probably maybe played. But there's some shit that he's not gonna mention that's probably, you know, saying top tier. If he missed some that I think is top tier, I'ma give you mine. To love you know and saying? play back then. And there might be one or two games that you used to play that I might mention. And if I do mention one, we might be long lost twins. Because some of these games are my favorite of all time and have developed me into the man I am today. So take a I seat did. as I discuss my childhood video games. Okay, you sat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta stay seated because this video is sponsored. No, 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 you can't leave. You already sat. This video is sponsored by hey. RPG. Get your bread, though. You know what I'm saying? Xbox all my life. Been with them since they sold my mom a new Xbox that didn't even work. Back then, bro. Oh my God, PTSD. Where is it? Xbox all my life. Been with them. PTSD. My nigga, this that red ring had me putting my Xbox in the freezer, bro. In the freezer. I was trying everything. I was trying everything, bro. Since they sold my mom a new Xbox that didn't even work. Back then, I would play most of my games offline because it took us a minute to even get Xbox Live. By the time we got it, the Xbox One was already coming out. Because of oh, that, damn. I ain't really play games like Halo. Nah. Look, when the first Xbox came out, I never got online. Just didn't know how to do it. But when that Xbox, uh, when the Xbox 360, you can plug it in. Bro, I put my Xbox in a, in a, a fucking little TV right next to the monitor. I was telling niggas, get off the phone, bro. I'm putting, I'm plugging this shit in the back of my Xbox. I was going crazy. Ever since then, I, bro, I'm online with it. Online. All the time, bro. Hello, or Call of Duty. I know they got story modes, but to me, those weren't the main selling points. I wanted to shoot people and talk shit on voice chat. So I played games where the fun wasn't in having a Wi-Fi connection, but connecting with the story and character. Okay. And what better way to do that than with a property you already know front to back? That's why the Naruto games were my sh**. I'm pretty sure I copped every single 360 Naruto game besides Storm 2. These games were so l I didn't really play any Naruto games on, on, the, on the 360. Only thing I played, I played uh, one Naruto game. I played it on my PSP. Didn't know shit about Naruto, but my brother had the game and I wanted to play with him. And I was always using Gara. I was, I was, I was fucking shit up with Gara. I didn't know shit about this. Sh I didn't know nothing about it, bro. Absolutely nothing. 
lit. I must have played the story mode of Rise of Ninja about 11 times by now, mainly because it was so short. It only covered up to the Gara attack in the village, and the game is only told in Naruto's perspective, so they skip a bunch of fights and storylines. Sasuke getting the curse mark skipped. Rock Lee vs. Gara glossed over. Eno vs. Sakura. Don't nobody give a fuck about that, but they skipped that too. Jutsus were also annoying AF to do. You had to hold both triggers and do some quick gymnastics with the sticks, holding it down. Thing almost gave me carpal tunnel. Huh? Half the missions are following rings, delivering Wait. scrolls, and going is against. Is this is this the game that one clip from Dashi came from? When he was like, "Who said that?" And he hit the button. He go click 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 click. He's like, "You gonna wake? <laughs> you gonna wake up when you look in the mirror tomorrow or some shit like that?" That, yo, that clip is hilarious, bro. Against these bum filler bandits. But back then, I would eat this up like a chicken Caesar salad without the salad. I love the kind of open worldness of the game running around the village and construction sites. The oats were cool and stylish, and the ramen delivery missions, now those would make me come back to the game for seconds. These parts of the game went hard, and it ain't that hard to impress kid me. All this game needed was the Nine Tails transformation and sexy jutsu for my attention. And it has both. I was raving. In terms of nostalgia, the game went hard, but I definitely say the Storm series was a huge improvement. And I say that not as a diss, it's hard to beat peak. The Ninja Storm series is literally the best thing anime games can offer. Although I've heard a lot of hype for the Dragon Ball ones and Roblox got some cool games too. But I doubt any of them are better than Ultimate Ninja Generations or Storm 3. Nah, I, ain't I, none of that. I also used to play a few Xbox Connect games. Oh, now, for when sure. I got the Connect, hey, I was on that Connect heavy, bro. I was on the Connect heavy. I genuinely thought this was future technology. Oh god. Like you can control a game with no controller and just using your hands and feet at the camera? This is some back to the future type. I thought we gonna have this technology by the Xbox 720. But here it was, right here. Ah! So then we got a few. Hey, <laughs> wait, the Xbox 720? Technology wait. by the Xbox 720. Bro, niggas looking up the Xbox concepts and the PS4 concepts, bro. And you had them songs in the back, them do 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 Bro. We didn't know what the fuck was coming next, bro. Funny, but here it was, right here. So then we got a few games, Connect Joyride and Connect Adventures. Joyride was, Connect was so Adventures. fun, connected both my hands to the game steering. It felt like I was actually driving a real life car. Granted, I only had the demo, so I did one race and it kicked me out. But Damn. I played a race on repeat. Connect Adventures, now this was my favorite Connect game. It was a sure. bunch of outdoor activities I think you see a Boy Scout do, like water rafting, uh, Wipeout, target yep. practice, stuff oh, you would expect. Wow, Play this okay. all the time with my brothers. My favorite one of these mini games was the aquarium one, where you had to block the cracks of glass so oh you don't God, drown. And me in real life, controlling this game, you would think I'm a mime. Rafting was fun too, till I got to the parts where I have to jump, because the connect would never pick up on me jumping. Every time I tried jumping, it just wouldn't register in the game. Now nah, it was doing that. It wasn't doing it all the time for me, but it wasn't, bro. Me, AKA my family. And my room was upstairs. I couldn't be jumping around too much or too loud. My mom might have come in and beat my ass for it. So I was doing a bunch of little jumps, you know? But even when no one was home and I was jumping as high as little old me could, the Kinect still wouldn't pick it up. <laughs> this was a problem for all my Kinect games, which is why I fell off of it quickly. I had Sonic Free Riders Connect version. Never played and it. I never finished a single race on that game because it straight up wouldn't connect my body to the Xbox. It wouldn't work, bro. Oh. I would try this Damn. multiple times and it Damn. never worked. And the game was Connect exclusive. You can't play this with a controller. Mm. You have to use the Connect. And since that ain't work, the game was used. It was with this. I realized I ain't want any more Connect games. My mom would say no to me asking for games no. all the time. No. I'm not gonna waste no. a few times no. she say no. yes on getting Kung Fu Panda 2 on Connect. I needed a real game. Luckily, That's one it? day, the heavens blessed me with not one, but a four in one disc game. The Talk Sega Dreamcast Collection. Crazy t Man. Peek. 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 Nah, I wasn't. Fuck on the Xbox. I was playing this bitch on the Dreamcast, okay? Okay. Fucking peak, bro. Holy. I think they're actually supposed to be remaking this or something.
Taxi, Space Channel 5 Part 2, Sonic Adventure, Sonic and Adventure. Bass Pro Shop. Crazy Taxi. I ain't gonna lie, I was on Bass Pro Shop a little bit too. I, ain't, I can't cap. I was on Bass Pro Shop a little bit. I, I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck was I doing? I don't know. I ain't never been fishing in my life, but I did a little Bass Pro Shopping. You know what I mean? Taxi was crazy. Picking up people that expect me to drive them across the entire city in 30 seconds. Right! And if I'm two seconds late, they get out the car while I'm speeding doing 100 on the... Yo, they jump out, and they will jump out at the place, bro. Like, do you see how that nigga just pulled up? They're jumping out, and you still get a failed mission, bro. Sidewalks. Like, they need to get to this stop so bad they willing to break all, all right. that bones in the body. We was just going to the gas station. Why are you in a rush? But that's what made it fun. Going Bro, in the crazy water. in the car, hitting pedestrians with no consequences. Sounds like a drunk driver's dream. And little me was inspired That was my this. shit, bro. This was essentially my GTA before I knew what it was. What Great game. Bro, facts. This was GTA before GTA. If you don't play BD Joe in the game, I don't trust oh, you. Oh, God. Oh, God. You got to play as him. Only black hair, gotta play as him. Sonic Adventure. I ain't gonna lie, I barely played it. I thought the game looked ugly. And I tried to get into it. I was a big fan of Sonic, which I'll get into later. But yeah, I couldn't gel with Sonic this game, bro. I hated the way the characters talk. The dialogue would sound so awkward. Their mouths were animated like they had dentures. I love Sonic and Adventure. the music is great, but the music would be blasting over them talking. So you barely hear anything they're saying. Thank God for the subtitles. I'm Oop, sorry no, to thanks. all my fellow Sonic writers. I'm probably Ooh, speaking straight man. blasphemy right now. I'm just saying what I thought as a kid. I'ma definitely play this game again in the future. Hopefully the next time I play it, it'll knock some sense into me of how truly great this game, game probably game. might be. Space Look, Channel 5 Part never 2 played that. might be the best dance game I've ever played. It's a rhythm <laughs> game set in space about the villain Purge, who wants the universe to dance for him against their will. What? And it's up to local news reporter Oolala to save I've the never universe with her dancing. And done. Space Gun. And this game is so fun. The game having fun wild levels going against this. alien plant monsters, battle of the bands. And th did I mention Space Michael Jackson is a supporting character? No and way. there's a mission where you have to save him from Purge and is actually voiced by Michael Jackson himself? <laughs> this might be the best game of all time. The game is so colorful and stylish too. In the future, everybody got that shit on, bro. Nobody walks out their house with no sauce in this. Game. This is a a little bit of a spoiler, okay. but the final battle of this game is probably the most fun I had with a final boss in a video game ever. You finally face Purge. He's freakier than ever. And it's like this one what long song and dance battle. Purge and the setting keep changing, becoming more challenging. Then the final transformation battle happens, and it's so fun, bro. I hope. Like, words can't describe how fun this ending is. This is so good, bro. Really, the only complaint I have is that I wish it was longer, because you can legit beat this game in under two hours. But Damn. during that time, this game will have you dancing more than Nickelodeon Dance 2K. <laughs> Space Channel 5 Part 2. It's up there with my favorites. And the Bass Fish and Bass Pro Shop game? Yeah, I was playing that. I was playing it. This, I was playing it. This fishing? Nintendo, talk to me. Before talk there me. was anything, before my Xbox, before my Leap Pad, I've been with Nintendo. Yeah. I had almost every one yeah. of their consoles since my birth. From the yeah. Game Boy Advance SP yeah. to the Switch. Elite fucking console. Every Hold one on. of their consoles since Hold my on. birth. From the Game Boy Advance Hold SP. Game Boy Advance SP. Nigga, I, I kept it on me. I kept that shit on me, bro. I was in, it was in my pocket on my way to school. Kept that shit on me, bro. This is a, this is psh, top five console of the world, bro. Look, oh my god. I had the, I had the, uh, the light gray one. Cooking. I was, man, man. P to the switch. Man, grown up privilege is awesome you should try it i was drifting to first place winning every mario kart ds grand prix they used to call me mustang because of my skills and lack of the order bakugan mm. battle brawlers though had me feeling the opposite i, I ain't play that one. was almost every game on there 
it got to a point where I was just going on to play just to change my character's avatar because they had some really good fits in that game, not gonna <laughs> lie. New Super Mario Bros, one of my favorite the DS door? games. The story and format is a lot like most mainline Mario games. Bowser's in a drought and Peach is the rainforest. So he kidnapped her and Mario gotta save her ass free of charge for like the 12th time. Of course, Levels always. Were super fun, the boss fights were crazy, PD always had me tweaking with every replay. It's yeah. a really good play. But I'ma be real, my memories aren't with the story mode too much. The real fun was playing the mini games and multiplayer. The mini games had me on a chokehold, bruh. And when playing a multiplayer against my bros, I'd play harder than Prime Tyson. Danger <laughs> Bob Arm um, Danger, where I was avoiding a billion fast fireballs so I wouldn't blow, had me scratching my screen with my fingernails, making my bottom screen look like a cat fight happened on top of it. Puzzle <laughs> panel had me sweating because I had no idea how to play this back then. I didn't get what panel I was gonna press. Like, how was I supposed to know which one to press? This is too much thinking for a five-year-old. Yeah. Wanted, my favorite movie. I did, I always this played shit Wanted. would have me locked in looking for Wario, Luigi, whoever yep. big nose ass I was supposed to be looking for. I do my absolute best to find them as quickly as I can. Trying to get that time turned into nanoseconds. I ain't recorded then, but I bet on your grandma's soul I got the world record on this. Soon as I took a glance at who's wanted and I find them, I would beat my stylist on that bottom <laughs> screen harder than I am. I did not treat my DS with care. And I can't not bring up Luigi's Casino games. This game put me on some of my favorite hobbies. Invested. Hey, but when I played his games, I was so bad at them. I ain't know how to play poker. I was five. Luigi didn't care though. He ain't mind hustling the kid. Only game I was good at was matching cards. And ever since my losing streak against Luigi, I vowed to never lose in the casino ever again, no matter the game. I do not think my promise is going well. The one v one multiplayer was the best thing about the game. The first person to get all five stars or takes the other person's lives wins. This is the game where bonds would be broken cause we would absolutely abuse each other in this. Jumping on our heads above pits, using the giant mushroom to stomp them out and destroy the stages. And when I'd get the blue shell, Wrap it up, it's cause over. whoever got that won the game. I'd just be cruising in that shell back and forth, killing my bro constantly, till he lost everything and I won. It ain't fun at all being on the other side of that, but oh God. being that felt exquisite. This game was so fire, bro. New Super Mario Bros is super replayable, fun, and has one of the best multiplayer modes for the DS top tier childhood games right Talk here. Moving next, on from that, Imagine something that had all your favorite characters put together in one room for your entertainment. No, I'm Smash, not talking bro. about that yeah. so sweet life of Hannah Montana. I we mean know Smash, exactly. yeah. Smash, Smash it wasn't bro. just a game, it was a lifestyle. Yeah. I used to grind this game trying to be I was ass, didn't give a fuck. Didn't give didn't give two fucks actually. I was ass, didn't care. I was playing best out of everyone around me. Even rocked the Smash Bros cut at one point. My mains are Lucas, Palatina, and Isabella, and I'd spam the f out of their moves. Freezing MFs, exploding MFs, and catching them like a fish. I was not a fun person to play with. Was I good? Uh, let's not yeah, go ass. too deep into that. We're I talking about ass. the good times here. I've been a part of this franchise since Brawl. Well, actually, I was playing Super Smash Flash before that, main in Naruto and Blade, cause I never owned a Wii. I waited for the Wii U to come out for me to actually play, bro. I think the Wii U was fucking hot ass dookie shit. And if Smash Flash was the game to pique my interest, then Brawl made me a lifetime fan of this franchise. Cause the story mode is a masterpiece. Everyone teaming up against Nintendo's most The regular evil Wii was gas. Ganondorf. I had the regular Wii. The regular Wii was gas. The Wii U was hot ass dookie cheeks, bro. Wario, Rob, to stop them from blowing niggas up to smithereens. Like, the intro scene is the ancient minister blowing up a whole stadium full of people. The villains had no chill. They did not hold back. This is the scariest Wario had ever been for the first time ever. He seemed like a real threat. When he's not in his pants, he knows how to put huh? the fear in people. 
which made the mode even more exciting. The stakes were high. The story had me on an emotional roller coaster too. Crying on my hands and knees when Ness sacrificed himself to save Lucas, <laughs> then going absolutely nuts when Rayquaza showed up. Cause for a sec, I thought he was gonna be a playable character. But nah, they strip tease me. It's <laughs> that storytelling would completely distract me from the fact that it was pretty easy to beat. It takes about two and a half SpongeBob movies to complete. But the world for me is in a standstill when playing this. I wish every Smash game had a story as good as this one, or even had a story in general. World of Light was not it for me, cause it ain't Never about played this. outside the boss fights and a few cutscenes, you mostly just fight an NPC spirits collecting trophies for so long. It's I just play, I never like I don't even think I've ever played Smash Story. I think the I've I've always played somebody else's Smash Story, and I've played that big ass hand. Other than that, I've never actively played the story myself. Wii U version didn't have a story either. Nintendo really only balled out for Brawl for story mode. The series is like the Robocop franchise. Only one of them has a good story and the rest are... <laughs> Brawl is the most nostalgic Smash game for me. It's not the best one, but it definitely has the best story. And also, I can't help but feel nostalgic for the announcement trailers for Ultimate. When Nintendo were dropping teasers for who and what will be added to the game back then would be the most hype I've ever been for any video game. Those were not trailers, those were events. I wouldn't even know or play the games half the characters that were announced were in. Like the hell is a Min Min and damn she got bitches. But seeing everyone online go crazy would be enough for me. Binging reaction videos of people going nuts to bro etika went crazy off one i can't remember this was like this was like a couple months before he passed i can't i can't even think of it right now but there was one and he was just going insane and i'm like i, I don't know who none of these niggas was but i was just watching his shit bro the people going nuts to their favorite characters from titles they love and Fire Emblem. Their reactions to these reviews would be so infectious that I can't help but go crazy watching it with them. What a beautiful time that was. When the next Smash comes out, hopefully we can be as enthusiastic. I trust that we will. Once Nintendo announces Goku will be in Smash, that shit would break the internet. Smash Goku Bros. for Smash me would be is insane. not only a great free-for-all fighter, but a way of bonding. I ain't got the best social skills. But soon as you pull out the switch, that is not a strap, and you're trying to smash, you'll have me wagging my tail like a labradoodle. We smashing, bro. And I ain't gonna hold back on you. That's crazy. What are we talking about? Smash Bros. is one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. But when talking nostalgia, nothing comes close in this race other than a spiky, yeah, boy, alien creature. And I'm talking Talk about to me. no other. Than Rick from Rick and Morty. Sonic is my favorite childhood oh. video game franchise of all time. I Bro, know that might. Sonic is so good. I uh, but uh, my main Sonic was the one. I can't. I, I I always forget the name of it. But it was the one where you would pick up the little the little things with the little dot on their head, and you have to feed them and take care of them and put them in an incubator and shit. That was my favorite Sonic, bro. Like. That was that was one of my favorite Sonics. I bro, it was so Sound good, bro. Sound weird to some of y'all, cause Sonic fans don't have the best rep going for us. In fact, the franchise itself don't got a good rep. With games being a Russian roulette to being great or garbage, I know there's a lot to be turned off by. But if you ignore the bad things, there's only good things. Plus, the first Sonic game I remember liking and playing was Sonic the Hedgehog. I, no, I played not that. that one, the good one. Yeah, that's what, what I'm talking about. This was one of the first 360 games I've ever played. Most of I us know how infamous one. this game is. It's known as one of the worst Sonic games. The controls were bad. The camera was all over the place. Long ass loading screens that pop up all the time. Glitches everywhere. And just a terrible gaming experience. A terrible gaming experience if you're above the age of seven. And since I wasn't, when I played it, I loved it. I would play this all the time. I thought everything about this was so cool. The story being Dr. Eggman kidnaps Princess Elise to get her Chaos Emerald and to find out the secrets of I the never play this of disaster, one. also known as Iblis. So he can do his plan of world domination. And Sonic gotta stop him. 
But also, silver comes from 200 years in the future, where the world is over. It looked like hell, and it's completely taken over by Iblis. And silver is told by a guy named Mephilus that the only way to stop this from happening is to kill Sonic. But that isn't true because Mephilus is actually the other half of Iblis, and he's the bad guy. You can also Never play played. Shadow too. Mephilus, I thought, was such a cool villain. His character design went hard. His voice was deep and menacing. In my eyes then, that's all you needed to be evil. I thought the story and characters were engaging and interesting. Though, even as a kid, seeing Elise kissing Sonic was a little weird. That, yeah, Especially that was when weird. seeing Amy. Like, his girls are right there, bro. Some of the levels yeah. were fun, too. City Escape, my favorite. You sometimes get to ride an eagle and drive nah, a car. I don't think I'd play this. Are y'all sold on this game yet? But I can't talk about this game without mentioning the glitches. Cause they're legit everywhere. Walking upside down on loops, getting sent to space, whatever this is. These glitches would happen so frequently that I could get how people would hate this game and find oh, it unplayable. No. Cause it was. However, maybe it was all the red 40 and pencils I ate then. But Red I didn't really mind them. In, in fact, I'd have fun with the glitches on some of my replays. Look, I know for a fact I'm looking at this game through rose-tinted glasses. Gotta be. I know if I were to play this today with the patience I have, if one glitch kill me, I'm a rage quit and switch to a game that I actually enjoy. However, no. Kid Me <laughs> loved it. I would replay that is a nasty it, game. and it's not like I ain't have other games. I played this because it was fun. I played this during a time of my life that only that version of me would, would enjoy, enjoy this yeah. game. But I can still see myself playing it in the There's a lot of times where you play a game. I've, I've tried to double back on certain games because I was like, yo, I used to love this game. I think I should still love it at this age. And I'm like, fuck no. Can't play this. It was only good for that time period. You know what I mean? Project 06 version though. I'm not dealing with those loading screens. I loved Sonic 06. It turned me into a fan. So imagine how I felt when I played my first good Sonic you, game. You go Sonic Unleashed out of games? is oh, my yeah, favorite sure. Sonic game. Sonic turns into a werewolf. That's the story. Take my money. The game also <laughs> starts off money. with the best looking Sonic cutscene I've ever seen. This shit rivals Pixar. The levels were so... <laughs> Zesty. In the daytime, you play as regular Sonic, blasting through stages almost effortlessly in a way I hadn't seen Sonic do. The nighttime, you switch to Werewolf Sonic. Although you were a lot slower, swinging and doing combos on those robots and dog things always felt satisfying. The boss fights are whoopee. They were a good mix Don't of challenging while also being exciting. Besides this one, I hated this. When playing this, it was the best Sonic gaming experience I've had at that point. The cutscenes were great. The controls actually I wonder if he's gonna talk about, oh, uh, nah, he's running out of time. I don't think he'll have enough time to even talk about, like, oh, cause, like, shit I used to play, it was some good ass Crash Bandicoots, bruh. 007, motherfucking Resident Evil, motherfucking Sims, like, Spyro, like, we, we niggas really had that shit, bruh. Like, those were some fucking games, G. And there are quick time events. Sensational. But easily my favorite part of Sonic Unleashed is this little nigga right here, Chip. Chip is a fairy bat hybrid, I think. Who, when losing his memories after Sonic Grand fell on Series, top of oh, him yeah. from falling from my, see, my, my brother put me on to all the Need for Speeds and, uh... What was it? Need for Speed or uh, Need for Speed Underground and shit like that. Like, I would have never... Those type of games I would have never played if it wasn't for my brother. You know what I'm saying? So, I like, shit like that, I, I owe it to them because, like, I would have never known. Ace becomes his quirky, comedic sidekick. For a lot of the game, he don't do much other than cracking jokes, handing out chocolate to people, and just being a vibe. That's all I needed out of him. We weren't just on a mission to get his memories back and defeat an Eggman. On this adventure, we have become friends, companions, oh, shit. and I never wanted it to end. Spoilers for Sonic Unleashed in three, two, one. It ends, bro! After going to the temple to regain the Chaos Emerald's powers, Chip gets his memories back, and apparently this dude is God. His what? real name is Light Gaia. His job is to protect the world from Dark Gaia. And for millions of millions of years, Dark Gaia would get stronger to destroy the Earth, and Chip would rebuild it back over again. And since Eggman awakened Dark Gaia, he's gotta stop it from destroying the planet. So yeah, he's God. And when we're at the end game <laughs> boss fight, they are facing Dark Gaia in an epic battle with them winning at the end, because obviously God yeah, and Super plot, Sonic man. on the same team is like Shaq and Kobe. 
might as well bench yourself when seeing them coming. Mm. But what I didn't see coming is Chip saving Sonic's life and staying behind at the Earth's core. And we watch him sink into the lava, seeing him for the last time. <laughs> my nigga Chip is dead. <laughs> my nigga Chip. He died for a sin. This game had me feeling emotions I thought I would never feel for a video game. That by the end of the game, after crying my heart out, it made me want to go on this adventure again so it would never end. Sonic Unleashed is my favorite Sonic game, making me a lifetime fan of the franchise. Not only of the games, but of Sonic itself. I used to be watching those Sonic bloopers and creepy no pasta way. videos from back then. Sonic for Hire went two times platinum on my iPad. I'd often play fan-made Sonic games on the computer. Final Fantasy Sonic, I that's just a, a work of art, bro. If I, I played too many Sonic games. I played uh, the one I told you about. I, I played like three, and I played a couple. Um, I want to say on my like on my Game Boy, like I definitely had one that I was always doubling back to on the Game Boy for sure. My machine, I'd show this to Leonardo da Vinci, cause I know he'd quit. I know he knows he can't make something half as good as this. And <laughs> every Saturday morning, you know I had Sonic X playing on my TV. That Amy oh, you, Ghost oh, you episode was really had me locked doodle in. in my pantalones. I'm kind of yapping at this point. Sonic is the best. Sonic for president. Let's wrap it up. And those were my childhood video games. Of course, they weren't all of them. I didn't bring up no Flash or mobile games. And I didn't oh, bro, the Flash games used to cook, bro. That Lilo and Stitch joint where they, I'd make the fucking sandwiches. Talk about it. The fucking Sweet Life of Zack and Cody where I'm running through, dodging the motherfucking, dodging the shit, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Them Flash games was really it too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Save me on times when I ain't had no console and shit even bring up pokemon geez but this video has already taken too long to make i'm basically editing on a chromebook bear with me here and if you made it this far in the video thank you so much i send you my massage through the screen then in the comments tell me about your favorite club penguin oh my god bro runescape let's really talk i was on these games bro i was cool math games the fucking block game had me in a chokehold in school what are we talking about childhood video games and what you liked about it thank you opera gx for sponsoring this video and giving me money and that's all i really wanted to say so in conclusion veridi still for smash i ain't forget hey man chat what is some what are y'all what are real quick real quick real quick what are some of the uh what are some of the childhood games that like some of your favorite childhood games i would say one of my one of my favorite games mini clips oh i remember that website one of my favorite childhood games is definitely Resident Evil 5. That shit was just too... It was too good. It was too good of a game. Crazy Taxi. Damn. We really had some... Subway Surfers? I don't know. Little Big Planet. Oh my... Oh my God. Oh, bro. Little Big Planet was so peak. And people slept on it. Bro, it was such a good game, bro. Holy shit. RE games, Club Penguin, bro, I was, I was there, I was on Club Penguin trying to tip the motherfucking, tip the, uh, what you call that shit, the, uh, the iceberg, Lego Batman, Lego Batman, Lego Star, I was on Lego Star Wars, bro, uh, Star Wars, Star Burst, what the fuck, but Lego, I was on Lego Star Wars crazy, the nigga was doing a little, yo, and the little nigga was flipping so fast, you couldn't really see him, but all you would see is the lasers slide through them, and they fucking crumble. Like, man, fucking games, man. Haven't played Little Big Planet in forever, bro. If they make a remake, like the new Little Big Planet or the Sackboy, I don't fuck with that for real too much. But Little Big Planet One and Two, I will get on that game today if they make it a game, bro. Swear to God, swear to God. Hey, W video though, shout out to uh, the generosity.